Sabi naman yung aking anak ay, My child said, Father, our house is about to catch fire. There were so many burning embers flying in the air, and the wind was so strong, heading right towards my house. I said, it's up to God. Earlier, when I stood on the ashes that remained, I couldn't hold back my tears. There is no human logic, human reason who can, which can explain the situation here. Logic has no way of explaining this. There is only one explanation for this. The Mongian term for it means a reverent fear. We had been working to reach this community for two years. The work was hindered because of the fighting between the soldiers and the rebel armies. This displaced the people who lived here. Now they are returning because their livelihood is still here. Uh, more than two years ago, more than two years ago, the resistance against us from the people here was too strong for us. But through the initiative of Brother Burning, who expressed the need for a teacher and a school and someone to encourage them to go to church, we persevered and put up a school here. To others, it may look like a hut, but that is a school. That is where the missionaries lived. There hasn't been anyone here since June of 2018 because of the fear that people had about the issue of the rebel army being around here. They were afraid that they would get caught in the middle of the fighting that was happening between the two sides. So they abandoned this place for a while. The fire was started when someone set a rice field on fire and left it unattended. There were two rivers between the fire and the house, and he believed the fire could not cross the rivers. I ran so fast. When the fire was near the river bank, I went directly to the houses. I began getting things out of the schoolhouse. In my mind, I could see it catching on fire. It wasn't until I finished taking everything out that I stood over there in the forest to watch. I prayed, entrusting the schoolhouse to God. I said, Lord, I leave the watch care of this house to you since this is the house of the missionaries. Give this as a demonstration for others to see the truth. The houses were right in the middle of the fire. This happened simultaneously, not little by little, but on the left and on the right. If it's an open fire and you're here, how hot would that be? It's so hot that people were thinking, burning is dead. Then the fire was divided. One part was going this way, the other part was going that way. When it got close, the wind suddenly shifted. The fire barely missed this house. But the embers had reached the house and landed on the roof since they were coming from further downwind. The embers coming from nearby landed on the other side. When the fire missed this place, I then looked at my own house. I was thinking what a loss my house would be. 
Sinabi ko naman ay, Panginoon, ikaw naman ang bala. I said, Lord, I leave my house to you. It's so valuable. I told myself, it's going to burn for sure. The fire was so close. Malapit na eh. Naksigaw naman ako. I shouted, Lord, watch over my house. I place my trust in you. Aking pagpatiwalaan. Sabi naman yung aking anak ay, My child says, Father, our house, it's going to burn. Masusunog na. With all those embers. Nagausok na. Isang minuto na nagausok dun sa taas. For a minute, the roof was already smoking. The smoke was that high. And the wind was strong going in the direction of the house. I said, it's up to God. Then suddenly the wind changed direction and the fire missed our house too. By God's grace, our house was saved. That's why I was so astonished. The river was wide, but the fire crossed over it. The distance to the house of the missionaries was narrower, together with the house of Brother Burning, and there was dry brush in between. Why didn't it keep burning after it crossed the river? Think of being surrounded by a wall of fire 20 feet high, because that's the height of the bushes. In our house and the house of Brother Burning, the walls are made of kogon grass, very flammable. Very flammable. It's so easy to set it on fire. You can't play around with matches. Pero lo and behold. But lo and behold, these two houses were left standing. At ang sabi noong asawa nang natulungan natin sa... And the word of the spouse of one person we helped by giving health services to was that the God of the missionaries serving this place is real. My heart was filled with joy when they said that when they return to their houses, they will join Berning. This is a tragedy. It's a tragedy for them to lose their houses. But God permits that according to His own wisdom. To His own wisdom. Because God wants to reach the people surrounding this place. When they see this place, that the only ones left are the houses of Brother Burning and the missionaries, people cannot deny that there is a true God among His servants here.